Good, good. Oh, God, once again, God comes to your party. Yes, Jesus Christ, the God-man, desiring that all would come to repentance. I want you to see your need for forgiveness. I want you to turn to the living God and He'll wash away your sins. That's the good news. The good news, you don't have to burn in hell. You don't have to go to hell. You don't have to continue in your perversion. You don't have to continue in your disobedience down that broad road that leads, the broad way. Convenient, huh? The way that you are living makes God angry. The way that you are living brings you under the wrath of God, the anger of God. The God, His wrath, the wrath of God is being revealed from heaven. It's God's wrath. It's from heaven. God sits on the throne of heaven and He's going to reveal to you, to you on that day when you stand before Him and you are judged. And God examines your heart. God examines your choices. God examines your deeds. Yeah, you have a moral obligation. You are responsible for what you are doing. And when you stand before God Almighty, Jesus Christ, the God-man, and you continue in your sin, smoking marijuana, indulging in alcohol, looking at nasty, nasty things that make God angry. Yeah, that's all that's happening out here is sin. Sin. Lots of sin and sex and drugs. Oh yeah, your sin is what's going to send you to hell. Hellfire, I got to warn you. I got to warn you, you're in danger. You're in danger. You need Christ. You need to repent and believe. You need to repent and turn away from your sin, your transgressions, before they become your ruin. You need to repent now and be converted. That your sins, your sins would be blotted out. Times of refreshing will come from His presence. If you do not repent, the wages of your sin is going to be the death in hellfire. See, you, most of you are just blinded by the God of this world. Most of you are just given over to demons, demonic, devils, devils. You're serving devils. You're serving that which is ungodly, unholy, unrighteous, not clean, not good, not pure. No, it's filthy. filthy. It's dirty. dirty. It's unclean. unclean. It's wicked. wicked. It's wicked. wicked in the sight of God. And God hates all workers of iniquity. That's those who are thinking tonight they're going to get laid or they're going to party or they're going to have a good time. They love pleasure rather than God. I'm going to tell you on the day of judgment, everything's going to lay bare. Everything's going to be known. Every secret, everything revealed. And you will see the righteous judgment of God. Because God's going to give you a revelation of how wicked you were. And how you lived in rebellion against His kingdom. In rebellion against His word. In rebellion against truth. You're living in disobedience. And the wrath of God. Abides upon the children of disobedience. You're either walking with God, loving God, obeying God. You you wouldn't be out here if you were. Unless you're out here preaching. No, this, this street is riddled with sin, diseases. This 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 street is just riddled with perversion, with wicked and, and, and filthy imaginations. All that is running through your mind. It does not please God, does not honor God, does not show God your love by holiness, righteousness, that which is good. The way you're living is unclean. And so tonight, as we share with you the good news that Christ will deliver you out of the kingdom of darkness. You're living in darkness. You love darkness rather than light. You know why you don't love the light? Because your deeds are evil. You love evil. You love what is wicked. You love what is, what is not good. But God wants to deliver you out of that. He has come to, to set the captives free. You're held captive by your sin. You're a slave to your sin. You're a slave to the demons, the demonic, the lust. The lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. You're a slave to those things that burn within you. That wicked heart of unbelief. That wicked heart. The heart that is deceitful above all things, the lies, the gossip, the slander. Oh yeah, you're just riddled with sin. Sin of pride, sin. But if you humble yourself, God will forgive. God will forgive if you come in humility, in brokenness, in confession, in repentance, in, in receiving God's grace and mercy today.
today is the tonight is the night right now you can repent and believe and be saved from the wrath that is coming the wrath of God that abides upon the children of disobedience you who live in disobedience you who will your own pleasure you who will walking down the street enjoying your own life and giving no praise no gratitude no thanksgiving to the Almighty who has given you the breath of life. Oh, what are you doing tonight? Uh, is, this, is this bringing glory to God? Are you honoring God? Are you worshiping God in spirit and in truth? Or are you serving the devil, loving your sin, loving your pleasure, loving your entertainment? Uh-huh, you're on that broad road, dude. It's going to lead straight to hell. There is no peace for the wicked. You're never satisfied. You're never fulfilled. You can't get enough sex. You can't get enough. You can't get enough marijuana. Smoke, smoke another blunt. Uh, you can't get enough heroin. You can't get enough drugs. Yeah, you can't get enough sodomy. Oh, no, I know. You're full of sin and you're miserable. And you're lonely. I, you have nothing in your life. It's empty. But Christ wants to come and give you life and life more abundantly. But you must repent. You must repent of your selfishness. You must repent of your covetousness. You must repent of your love of that which is wicked, that which is unclean. You need to repent now. Turn now. Surrender now. You need to get right with God now because the end is near. The end. The end of your life. When Christ returns, He could return. He's going to come back like a thief in the night, in which all the heavens are going to pass away with a great noise and all the elements are going to melt with fervent heat. You're not ready to meet your maker. You're not ready to stand before God. You're not prepared. You die in your sin. You stand before God without Christ, without being born again, without repentance and confession of sin. You stand in your sin before a holy God. Your righteousness is not going to deliver you. It's not by the works of the law that a man can be justified in the sight of God. You live in sin. You practice sin. And you will sin. You love sin. You embrace sin. You run to sin. And God says, repent of your sin. That's your selfishness. Sin is selfish. When you do not honor God and love God and worship God and give thanks to Him who sits on the throne, you come under His wrath, His anger, the anger of God that comes from heaven against all unrighteousness and, un and wickedness of man. You're in danger. You're in danger. Hellfire. You're in danger. Lake of fire, you're going to be burning. You're in danger. i got to warn you. Warning, warning, danger. You're living. You're living in rebellion against God, treason against God. You're living in your sin. Yeah, your sin. You want to love your sin, smoke marijuana, indulge in alcohol, look at some porno. Oh, yeah, you indulge in that which God hates. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you the truth. You must repent. You must surrender. You must call out to Christ and be born again and turn from your ungodly lifestyle. Turn from your ungodly habits. Turn from your ungodly ways. Oh, your wicked imagination. Oh, that's exactly, we're just in the days of Noah. Remember in the days of Noah, God saw the wickedness of man was great on the earth and that the imaginations of the thoughts of his heart were wicked continually. Your imaginations... Yeah, what you want to do tonight, what you want to have fun, your pleasure, your entertainment. Oh, that which is wicked in the sight of God is you indulge in your appetites. Yeah, you indulge in that. That will destroy you. Gluttons. Gluttons. I don't care if you worship the food down the street, man. Gluttons. You worship. You worship not the living God. You worship your pleasure. You worship your stomach, your belly. Yeah, you worship that which is not of God. You worship yourself. You've exalted yourself. You sit on the throne of self. You think you're in control of self. You can do what you want when you want. And God commands you, commands you to obey him. Oh, yes, God commands all men everywhere to repent. God commands all men everywhere to repent because he's fixed the day in which he's going to judge you. You must repent or you will perish. You must repent and be converted. You must turn. Turn from your sin. Turn from your transgressions. I warn you, you're in serious danger with a holy and righteous and loving and forgiving and gracious God who brings the gospel to you tonight. 
God's good news that you, you can experience salvation. You can repent. Call upon Jesus. Be born from above. Changed by the power of God. Oh, you can make peace with God. Be reconciled to God. Be reconciled. You're an enemy, but God wants to reconcile you. You're living in sin, but God wants to bring you in the path of righteousness. Where you love righteousness. You love holiness. You love the things that God loves, and you hate the things that God hates. Oh, you have a mind of God, because now you've been born from above. Spirit of the living God comes in. He, gives you, he takes that heart of stone. That heart that hates God. That heart that lives for itself. And then he gives you a heart of flesh and causes you. Causes you to walk in his ways filled with the living God. The spirit of the living God. The Holy Spirit of God comes and fills your being. And now you know what the meaning of life is. The purpose of life. But when you live for sin. Oh yeah, you go, you look at porno. Ah, what, indulge in liquor, smoke marijuana, shoot heroin, whatever feels good, huh? Eat some food, huh? Your God is your belly. Your God is your belly. Gluttons, gluttony. You know what gluttony is? When you indulge in that which you love. And what, you're never satisfied. You're never satisfied. You're never fulfilled. You're never content. You're never, you never have joy because joy comes from the Father. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. Joy. Joy comes to a, a man or a woman who is broken, who sees their nothingness, who sees their emptiness, their unworthiness, humbles themselves, sees their sin, their perversion. You have demons when you walk into little darlings. Demons are in you. That which is demonic, the spirit of pornography, the spirit of perversion, driving you to masturbation, driving you to destruction of your flesh. Yeah, I'm serious. It's not holy. It's not God. It's not the spirit of the living God. It's demonic. It's demonic when you live that way. And you masturbate and you look at porn and you smoke marijuana and you're a lesbian and you do all those kinky and perverted and ungodly and unholy and unrighteous things. And then you're going to end up in hell fire. You're going to be judged by God. And God wanted to rescue. God wanted to forgive you. God wanted to cleanse you. He wanted to change your wicked imagination. Oh, he wanted to deliver you. He wanted himself show himself strong, but you willfully, deliberately, defiantly break his commandments. You continue on that broad road that leads to destruction, and we are here crying out, crying out that you might not be destroyed, that you might not end up in hell fire. The lake of fire that burns with fire and brimstone. It is eternal. It is real. It is, it's going to happen to the wicked, the ungodly, the unrighteous. All, all the nations that forget God, all the nations that do what is wicked are turned into hell. Hell fire. Does that not concern you or you think your good works are going to get you in? Does that not concern you that the way you live? is in rebellion against a holy and righteous God who knows all things, who controls all things, who created all things for himself out of nothing. You have to create out of what God has given. God is created out of nothing. He is the all-powerful one. He is the all-knowing one. He is the one omnipresent. He is the one that is watching the eyes of the Lord who behold the evil and the good. God is watching. And you're held accountable. The books will be open. Oh yeah, you can laugh. You can laugh your way into hellfire. You're going to die suddenly. You don't know when you're going to die. It just happens. Happens suddenly. Oh, and then you're out of this realm into the invisible realm. There's an invisible realm. Oh, what you see is temporary. What you see is only temporary, but what you cannot see is eternal. It's eternal. There's an invisible realm. And you are living in that realm of demonic devils. Devils. Yeah, you're giving yourself over to lust. The lust of the flesh. Yeah, gluttons. You love your belly. You love your belly. You love your food. You love your entertainment. You love your amusements. You love your pleasure. But you're not lovers of God. No, you're lovers of self. Self. Self-gratification. Self-indulging. Yeah, all that selfishness where you're self-contained or you're self-sufficient. 
Like you're in control. No, you're out of control. God is in control. And when God requires your soul, and God will require your soul tonight, you'll have no excuse on the day of judgment. You'll have no excuse. You knew you were living in sin. You knew Christ came to die for your sin. You knew he rose from the death. We just celebrate the resurrection. You knew the way you were living was wrong, but you willfully and you continually indulged in the flesh. You indulged in that which was unclean. You invited in your life demons, and you got more twisted and more wicked. You couldn't satisfy anything. Oh, it's sad. Sad because you're going to destroy yourself. You're going to love yourself to death. You're going to be so perverted, you can't get enough sex. You're going to get weird, twisted, demons. You think you're having sex with 